Uh, Daddy, we have just made a call with the sister here, uh, calling her sister in Limpopo. Now she's saying the pains are gone, she's healed the chest, it's open now. Oh, you're the one who said your sister was sick? Yes, Papa. For how long? Well, she was in hospital for two weeks, and then they released her and she got worse at home. She got worse at home? Yes. So we prayed for her on the prayer line, eh? Yes. How is she when you call? She's walking now. She's even She's walking. Minute. She can speak. She yes. can speak now? Yes, Papa. She's back? Yes, Papa. Let's live for Jesus. God is with you, eh? Amen. The word of the Lord locates your sister. What did she seek from? She's got pains in her chest. She was the last for two weeks. They charge her, but she's worse now. For two weeks? The word of the Lord locates your sister right now, restoring and raising her up. Her body is just now prospered. Just even her soul is prospered. She is now prospered in the way it is done. In Jesus' name. Go call your sister and come back. Ne? Call and check out. Our sister here, she's suffering from piles. How's the pain now? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone completely. Check, press. 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 Cut. It's gone. It's gone. Bless you. She just received, she just got her healing right now after the deliverance that she received from the heart of Messiah in our Father. And indeed, she's confirming that the pain, the piles, the pain that she used to get, it's no more. It's gone. Let's the hands for Jesus Christ. Yeah, the word of the Lord. Yeah, okay. The word of the Lord. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, not at the conference. Yeah, okay. No problem. Thank you. Come here. That's your sister's child. Yes, it's Colan. Colan. The word of the Lord. <laughs> The word of the Lord locate Kolani right now. The word of the Lord locate Kolani. His body is prospered, just as his soul is prospered. It is done in Jesus' name. Stand up. 
You can go call, check him, ne? Check Kolani and come back right now. Two ushers, call, call quickly. had pains between her fingers on her right hand and our father prayed for her and we have just seen the manifestation of that which caused that pain and indeed after her deliverance through the heart of the Messiah in our father she now she's now saying that the pain is gone just like that let's lift our hands for Jesus Christ the Messiah hallelujah
Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Let's talk. She'll never get that post. Who does she think she is? She won't get it. Every day she's always having honey to oil with her. Which is in my house, and Locate your house. This shall never happen to you anymore. In Jesus' name. What was it? I'm not telling anything now. What was it? Arthritis. Yeah, now? Now? I can't feel anything. Yeah, it's over. What is it? Say? She had arthritis and after our father prayed for her, she's saying that she can't feel anything, meaning there's no, pain, no more pains in her body. Let us lift our hands for Jesus Christ. How's it been? No? Uh, he's fine.
God is with you. She was saying that herself and her husband were trying to get the fruit yeah. of the womb, but then they could not get one. And now our father gave them the heart of the Messiah, bottles of anointing oil to minister to them. To minister together. Let's lay hands for Jesus Christ. How do you breathe now? Yeah, it's over. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is M. Kavele Nyeleti from Giani. Right now I'm staying in Ranfontein uh, due to my academics. So Nitela Ranfontein last Sunday. I came to Ranfontein last Sunday. So lokonita ni tsama na vanhu ya ni vanwe va i tsama here three a room we no renta. Eh we stay the three of us in a room we are renting. So im it Tuesday. 
akuri icho de lo konyo tama anka ni ni play a music wa gospel. On Tuesday, when I was just relaxing, I was playing gospel music. So kote gai wanya ni renta ukole ni feka yenu saku oranda ngofu gospel na. Another guy who rent in the same place came to me and asked me, "Do you love gospel music?" And I said, "Yes." Then he said, "I know that God does not exist." And so I said to him, "I cannot listen to your lies." So after that, he sungle ebe se menung zela kuri minanta ya tuluen. I I told him that I will go to heaven. So then I told him that I I will go to heaven. He said kuri akuri yena wa ti luna ti hele ashi ahanya suluses. So I say to him I I won't go to hell. So so un se nung zela kuri heaven and I told him heaven and hell exist. So then I told him that heaven and hell exist. So I could know it does not like as exist the as corner solutions. So he said to me those things they don't exist there's nothing like that. After that later on loka bona ku nang dip nang tlula hi ku ba mina na pfumela ku ri xikwembu xi kone e ba andzela ku anlak testament ya we. Then he said that he was trying to test my faith. So Angela Lera Aukuri, Yeso Christ the Wastaku Loko Afa Ufele Balungunzenana. So I told him no, Angafela Balungunzeno, Ufele every both. Then he said to me, Do you know that when Jesus Christ died, he only died for the white people only? And I said, No, that's not true. He died for everyone. So Angela Kuri, why Ufele Balungunzena cause Ban Bantima Basafara? Then he said, No, Jesus Christ died. Died for white people only because the black people are suffering. So menung zela ko iwe o safara ka uruesh. Then I said you are the only one who is suffering. So after that, ebi akuri we nakasha kasha na kutanze kaku kuina over. Then he said to me that, that I can see that I cannot win you over. So menung zela noko onge pukunu ne over as long as I have the Messiah. And I say to him, you will never win me over as long as I have the Messiah. The next day, loko na yotama, ah, loko na yotama kwa la kuna nuya nilo nitela kuna ye. Then the next day, one of the ladies that I stay with, ane rukusha yenga semon ka Facebook le papa abaiza really a fasting. I was busy reading the sermon on Facebook where the man of God was teaching. So semon liana ane shela aensa. I was reading that uh, sermon out loud. Then uh, that lady said, uh, please read it uh, on a, a love uh, voice. So no one jala no kuninge skote so so kuri loko ni shela yensa ni vana understanding. Then I say to her, when I read out loud, loud, then I, I receive more understanding. So I kuri askate so so live shela hansi kuzi kuna mina se mina nuko jela kuri wena loko uchaisa loko uplaya music mina nuko jelo ku ungu tano tixa so so ya. Then she said, you are not supposed to read out loud because I'm also here. Then I responded to her and said, when you come back from school, you play your music very loud, and I never say anything. Ebe ah ebe abe akwata. So she got angry. Nungtikso susa anmangana makana yen. So I just left her like that. I didn't care. On I think it was Wednesday. And then on Wednesday. No, I'm mistaken. I mean Thursday. Pardon, it was on Thursday. Thursday ni fike ne pola beke amina la. I opened my bag. So nukumashki pale shininga shisha pala sha le shininga shisha pala kiri kim. Then I found one of the t-shirts that I bought here at church. So nikisashki pale shia ni se nuku nikisashki pale shuko ntashimbala ngari kali. I took it out because I wanted to wear it. Ebe after that Angela kuri so shakiri kia nguina asuna design ya sha put design ya koi bed. Then she said to me, uh, all your designs from church, they are very bad, they are not nice. 
So no one tells you that there is a problem. You should go to the marriage school. 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 You should go to the so I said, I don't care about a good design. I, um, I, I, I've bought a cap for the Messiah's heart. And even if when they release the t-shirt with the Messiah's heart, I will even buy it, even if the design is not nice. Then she said that uh, the design from your church is actually worse compared to uh, our design from my church. So I said, uh, no problem. So when I school on Thursday, I check a proof of registration. Then I came back uh, from school on Thursday, and I checked my proof of registration. I realized that they have not captured me, so I had to come back home. So I never go to Angela. I never go to Angela. I go to school. 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 Then she said, are you talking about the man on your phone who is holding a snake? So I said, yes, but it was not a real snake. It was a plastic snake. So she said, go and eat those snakes. And I said, yes, I'm going to eat those snakes. I will also eat grass. So she said, uh, don't come back here when you go on Friday. So I said, I will come and confess. So I said, I will come and confess. So I said, I will come and Papa, I want to uh, go out of that place because there is a wrong connection. Yesterday morning when I woke up and after I took a bath, uh, one of the ladies that uh, we are renting with asked me where was I going. I said that I'm going to church in Karangua. Then she asked uh, at which church. Then I showed her the logo on my cap. So Then she said, Are you going to those uh, uh, men of God who make people to drink cheek? And I said, Yes. So Then I asked her, Where did you hear about that? So Angela go uskume ustweka radio. Then she said she heard on the radio. So never then we any follow that topic because I just wanna go it the wrong connection let in Sanganang now Donal and Rita Kako. So I just closed that conversation because I realized that this was a bad connection. Papa Lan Tamangona, I'm not feeling comfortable at all. I'm not feeling comfortable where I'm staying. So I no lava kuri min rivale la nam namolo kuti mawon rivale la. So I'm asking uh, that you forgive me and also for the Holy Spirit to forgive me. Amen. I forgive you. The Spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven in Jesus' name. God is with you. You have your testimony. Amen. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Paul Diwowo from 24, extension 24 Harangua. My name is Paul Diwowo from extension 24. My confession is about disobedience. Uh, there's a prophecy, a man of God, I will listen to the My confession is about disobedience. There's a prophecy that the men of God um, spoke forth. Okay. 
There's someone, Satan stolen your word and you forget easily. Yes, in, it's true, I forget easily. In the prophecy, the man of God said that there is somebody here um, whom the, the devil has stolen from and you forget easily. And yes, it's true, I forget easily. Then the second prophecy, it says you feel a pain on your heart and then you don't, you don't speak when you feel that pain and you feel to keep quiet. And the second prophecy was that um, there's somebody here who feels pain in their heart and they don't come forth or they don't speak about it. They remain with the pain. This is true. I feel that pain when I feel to speak and I keep quiet. And it's true. I do feel that pain and um, I fail to speak up. I instead keep quiet. And then that prophecy is someone you feel for me when you go menstruation and you feel pain. Um, the third prophecy was that um, there's somebody here who, who has um, clothes coming out whenever they go on their menstrual cycle. And it's true, I, I do experience that and I get pains as well. Yes, it's true, I feel that pain. Even the feel that pain. And it's true, I do feel that pain. And also there's a certain teacher I work with at, at school. She also experiences the same. It's, it's affected me because of even my daughter, she forget easily and my family. Um, it, 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 it has affected me in a sense that my daughter forgets easily and also um, in my family, there's a lot of um, forgetness. Even when I read the Bible, I forget the verses that I've read. Even when I read the, the word of God, I even forget on the verses or the scriptures that I read. And I forget the school when I, I forget the name of the school inside the classroom. And also I would forget the name of the school uh, that I'm working in whilst I'm in the classroom. So Papa, please forgive me. Help me not forget easily and to speak. Therefore, my father, I'm asking you to forgive me and let me not be too quick to speak. Thank you. I forgive you, the spirit of Christ forgives you. Evil behind this. She can't speak. She can't speak the right thing. She won't speak at work. What? I don't feel it. We made a covenant and we gave them money that causes them to get lost. Why did you stop her from being promiscuous? No. no! Why did you stop her from being promiscuous? Don't deliver her from that. She won't work. No, 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 no. No! I meant. You've annoyed the whole family. Now our marriages are going to be ruined. Now our marriages are going to be ruined because of this prostitute. Now our marriages are going to be ruined because of this prostitute. 
which is being stubborn. Oh, oh, I hate you. I hate you. No, this one. She can't speak. You can't. Mother Mutsi, I'm sorry. She can't speak, but however, just take her. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> We've had this covenant since 1998. Yeah, let me, you know what? Let me go there and, you know, Let me just go there and ask for forgiveness. You've indeed annoyed us. You said you want anymore! Jesus. 
into the family. So what did you do? We wanted her to stop coming here because we see that she is she's very close. Oh no. We wanted her to get tired and stop coming here. Striking the door. I'm covering you. How you blind? I was just stubborn, but your covering is very strong. You even cover her in the classroom. Oh no! I'm untying. I'm loosening things. I'm untying things. I forgive you. The spirit of Christ forgives you. You're forgiven.
would like to greet the whole church in the name of our King Jesus. And the man of God in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is Winnie and I'm from Botswana. I'm here to confess about disobedience. Last year, I did look on men of God, direction, a word of direction. Last year, when I came here, I received a word of direction from the men of God. Desperate. Of which he said that I should not be desperate. The kingdom of God, all things shall be added. He further on said that I should seek first the kingdom of God and all the things shall be added unto me. The man of God then said that I should not worry regarding my, my marriage. It will come um, in the right time. So, instead of then when I went back home, instead of focusing on what the man of God had directed me on, I did the opposite. I became disobedient. I was in a relationship, then I decided that when I, I get there, I was going to put it on hold. So, however, I um, procrastinated. And even the men that I was in a relationship with, we would, um, we would agree among ourselves that we would stop, but we would continue communicating. And you know, this thing in affect This has have affected me. Because now I'm unable to pray. Of which, um, when I left this place, after receiving the word of direction from the man of God, I was able to pray. I would even dream myself praying. Then I would wake up from the dream and continue in prayer. You know, I also tell you that my prayer life is dry. However, that has stopped. My prayer life is now dry. I can't even um, read the word of God anymore. It has even affected my serving in the ministry that I'm serving in. Um, I can't worship anymore. And it has attracted um, other spirits like lust in my life. The spirit of Christ to forgive me. Therefore, I'm asking for forgiveness from the man of God and also for the spirit of Christ to forgive me. Amen.
you evil giant of the family I'd like to greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My name is Mpomudise. I came from Kuruma. Mm, my, my confession is about offense and disobedience. Uh, last year, my husband passed away. Last year, my husband passed away, and then there was. And then he did because Last year, my husband passed away, and there were a lot of talks. Um, regarding that and I told myself that I was not going to get involved in that because I knowing very well that I'm not the one who had killed my husband. So yes that I twelela in na pona bushula ko twelela e gola selo se se gola go na bushula then it continued that way but things started becoming worse. And then kastata go na le that anger ke stata go go ikarabela ke stata go 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 bua ke itwanela ke nna le anger ewa I then had anger to a point where I would even talk back my anger was very severe Yeah even ba tabe ba mpolela gore even le tsone di kereketsa ga go tse o di tsamayang tse o di ka go se go thusi ka sepe and then we will make sure gore le wena o tlo go tsamahela ya lo so and now comments were made that um, the churches that I, I go to or I fellowship in will not even help me. And they even said that I was going um, to go or to pass on the very same way. So Then I spoke bad in the very same anger. So I spoke bad in Therefore, I'm asking for the Lord to forgive me um, for defending myself. Mm, second thing, uh, obedience. Last year, I think Kibu July. My second one is regarding disobedience. Last year, which was 2018, I think around uh, July month. It was the training of the matters of the kingdom. And then Papa was ministering. Papa a minister, and then Papa a pa motu oily mole, and then am pam maiki abar kofan mereko. It was during um, training in the matters of the kingdom, and my father, Professor Lesego Daniel, was um, ministering, and he gave he gave somebody a bottle of, or, or rather, he gave somebody mic saying that that you're going to minister. And then Papa has now come back because no Papa was joking. And then how did Zana go 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 room and no work fellowship? How did Zana get everything? Now my father gave me the mic saying that I'm going to minister, and I thought that he he was joking. And when I went back to Kuruman, eh, uh, just that like like. The spiritual parents, like you lead it, the intercessor. Then my spiritual parents started giving me tasks that um, I was going to lead intercession, and they even said that they were going to go with me whenever they go out to minister. So I'm not ready to do the work of God. And I felt as though I was not ready to do the work of God. 
so ke a sata go ntsha di excuse ngana a disaster ke diseta le go dula ha tsik sa tlholo ke a ke rekeng ke fila bad pressure ewa then i started giving excuses to a point where i even sat down and stopped stopped going to church and then after that ke ke a ke sumula ke realize or my prayer prayer life ya ka ke a ya kotlhatse ke sa tlholo ke khona go bala le foko that's when i realized that my prayer life had gone down and i was now unable to read the word and then ke ne ke na le di audio tse ke ne ke di rekiletse ga papa ke rata go ditsenya like ke di resa ke di teaching sa teng ke stata ke na lazy ke sa tlholo ke ke di rasepe and i had the audios of my father which i had bought um but now i had stopped listening to them i'd stopped doing everything so i start ke ka stata go lemoga gore botsholo bo ga jeke bona complicated even spiritually then i started realizing that things were complicated even my spiritual life was in trouble so i like my father to forgive me and the spirit of the lord to forgive me therefore i'm asking for forgiveness from my father and also for the spirit of the lord to forgive me i give you i forgive you the spirit of christ forgives you you're forgiven in jesus name god is with you we'll bring a testimony